Hello Libra, welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot. Before we get into your love reading, just reminding you all that I'm giving away the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Deck and Guidebook. Um, this is going to be given away on March 31st by a winner video. And in order to be eligible to win this, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and just leave me a comment on any of the videos letting me know that you're interested, okay? I love giving away decks on my channel, and this is the one I'm giving away for this month. And next month, I'll give away another one. So let's get into your reading. We're going to be pulling a lot of cards. Straight out, we have for you, love yourself first, Libra. And we have also separation. So these are the two angel messages for your love life this week. <clears throat> We're going to pull your uh, lovely animal spirits out also. Straight out the horse. Beautiful, strong, master of the earth. Also, also having a lot of fire and endurance, momentum, and the panther, fire energy. Also, Libra, wow, two very, very strong animal spirits for you. All right, let's get into your spreads. <clears throat> you, your person resonating with justice, you're resonating with the queen of pentacles. Your person sees you as the sun, and you see them as the eight of wands. They see their role in the relationship as a ten of cups, and you see your role in the relationship as a page of cups. So, very nice. Bottom of the deck, we have the hermit. <clears throat> Lovely. So, the hermit really, really talks about an internal sort of... Um, path that you're on, right? An, an internal path of realization. So love yourself in separation. Let's get right into your spread. And then I'll come back to those other animal spirits. Justice and the Queen of Pentacles. Your person is resonating with justice, Libra. And this is your card. So your person is resonating with a real sense of uh, balance and wanting to bring balance, right? They may be somebody who's very altruistic, you know, they may be somebody who kind of works in this field. They're resonating with justice, though. Something is coming in. Could also be that something uh, balancing is coming in, right? So resonating with justice a lot of times can mean that uh, your person is also waiting for maybe some kind of event or something to come in that's going to bring justice to a particular situation, um, this could sometimes be like a decision or a judgment or a signing of a document, right? Rarely, on some occasions, when your person is resonating with justice, it could indicate that they are indeed working in that field. Like, they're the ones bringing justice to a situation. But this is a major arcana card, and a lot of times what we're really talking about here with justice is... Uh, calling this energy in by way of an event, right? That brings it in. And so, again, like I said, it can be like an actual judgment or a decision in court that your person is really busy with and waiting for. You're resonating with Queen of Pentacles, Libra, so you're really sort of like putting your heart right now into your... You know, the manifesting of your goals and your dreams. You may be working very hard in your career right now, Queen of Pentacles really puts her heart and she's like emotionally invested in what she does. And she realizes that this is the secret to really uh, achieving your dreams. Right. So it's interesting that right now you could be reson resonating very much with sort of love yourself first and the spirit of the horse in a sense that Libra, you're maintaining your independence you are loving yourself first by way of also putting your heart and focus into your abundance and success and manifesting your goals and dreams, your career, whatever path it's on. And I feel like this energy is very separate from your person. Like your person is going through something else with this justice energy. And you're just remaining very focused on your career, you know, on your path, on achieving what you set out to achieve. Now, how do you guys see each other? It's interesting, your person sees you as sun energy and you see them as eight of wands. So it's like, 
It's like they see you as, as like a breath of fresh air, right? They see you as somebody who's very confident and very successful. They see that you're prospering, right? Because the sun brings with it growth and prosperity. And certainly because you're putting your heart into something, you are definitely sort of, um, you know, a beacon or an example of uh, success, abundance, right? And your person sees a lot of that. They see that in you. If they see that, see you as resonating with the sun, if this is how they see you, I think you also, the way you are, the way you sort of go about life brings a lot of understanding to them. They can see, they, they are gaining understanding by being with you and by watching you, how you, how you get about your life, you know, what you put into it, you know. And it's interesting because you see them as an eight of wands and that's somebody who's very chaotic with their messages. There's, you know, you see them as resonating with eight of wands energy eight of wands energy is like it's mixed messages it's it's up and down emotions it's chaotic emotions chaotic energies i think you are it's it's funny because your person is going through something right now with that justice if they're waiting or busy with sort of a, an event of justice coming in to rebalance something that means something in their life is out of balance and i think you see that because you see that they're resonating with a lot of energy that's like here and there and everywhere. And that's what Eight of Wands is. So their life might be quite chaotic. Their lives might be resonating with the spirit of the panther. Now the spirit of the horse is associated with freedom, endurance, momentum. The spirit of the horse, the horse is the absolute master of the earth. It's the highest card for mastering earth energy in the deck. And the horse is uh, one of these strong sort of uh, animal spirits that, you know, it literally carries you over the roughest terrain to your goal. You know, the horse is, um, there's nothing that the horse can put its mind to achieving that it does not achieve, right? This is one of the strongest animal spirits for achieving your goals, for manifesting your dreams, for navigating rocky territory on the way to your dreams, right? For having that endurance and that momentum to keep going. And the panther is associated with a fire energy. The panther is also associ is associated with chaos and nihilism. It, this is interesting because the, it's like your person may be dealing with the panther moment right now. Because the panther is when something quite chaotic just happens in your life and it's like thrown into your life and you just have to deal with it. Once the dust settles, you realize why it happened and then you realize that it was important that it happened. But at the time, it seems very chaotic. And you're feeling that off your person, like some chaotic energy. So they could be dealing with something here with justice that is just, you know, uh, putting them in a bit of a tailspin this week. Now, how do you guys see yourselves in a relationship and your part in it? There's a lot of love here, nevertheless. Your person is seeing their partner relationship as a Ten of Cups and you as a Page of Cups. And I think the thing is they may be dealing with something here that's going to um, impact your relationship because they see their role in a relationship as a Ten of Cups. That means bringing happiness and brings success and completion to a certain event as well. Ten of Cups is completion in the sense that you now have everything you need to go forward with your lives together. It could be that you're dealing with somebody, Libra, who was in separation, and the event they're waiting for this week could be a divorce finally coming through, right? Or some kind of event like that that's impacting your relationship because your person is certainly resonating with this desire to bring stability and commitment. Yet yeah, over here, there's a nervousness. You see a nervousness. You are the light of their life, and so the love is there. How do you see yourself? You see yourself as a page of cups. So this is being very tender and patient and sort of like, you know, just being there. It's not like a heavy, heavy love thing, but it's just a token of love, and this is how you see yourself in a relationship right now. It feels to me, Libra, like your person is the one who has to deal with their divorce, and oh well. And you guys are together, perhaps. This is just an example could be vice versa. It could be a little bit of a different situation. But this is kind of an example of what I'm talking about that, that I feel in terms of your energies. You're the one resonating with the horse energy, Libra. You're going on about your business with your career. 
You love your person, but you're really putting a lot of your heart into your career right now. You see that they're being very sort of all over the place and chaotic and that their energy is all over, but you love them nevertheless, you know, and it's kind of like you're really not taking a whole lot of notice of them right now anyway, because you're busy with your career. Your person and you're resonating with love yourself first, so you're really getting on with things. Your person is resonating with justice energy this week, and I think they're really busy with this spirit of the panther. This really chaotic event, it could be them finalizing a divorce. It could be them dealing with something at work, even doesn't necessarily have to be divorce. I say divorce because separation is here, but it's some kind of legal event or official event or what have you that is really uh, meant to bring order to their life, bring balance to their life. But right now, this week, everything is a little bit chaotic for whatever reason. It could be that this has been postponed or it could be um, that something is, you know, gone amiss or needs to change or whatever. Their energy is very nervous. Nevertheless, it's nervous because they love you. They see that you're the light of their lives. And by the end of the week, they resonate with that Ten of Cups energy because, um, well, it's not even so much that this is how they resonate by the end of the week, but this is really how they see their role in the relationship. It could be that by the end of the week, it all works out. And you guys are able to move forward. And this was just like nervousness associated with that that uh, that panther spirit. But it could also be that this is just how they see themselves in terms of their duty in a relationship. They see it's on them to take care of their business so that you guys can move forward with your commitment. And it could, it, it may not necessarily be indicative of any success in that area, but just that this is what they're hoping for. This is the role they see themselves in. In either case, let's go ahead and pull some clarifiers for you. I mean, I, I feel like it's very much a case of just chaotic energy, nervousness, things maybe not going exactly to plan, but ultimately the objective will be achieved. The purpose will be achieved, right? It may be a lot of nervousness right now because maybe, like I said, you know, whatever this event is, there's some surrounding energies that's making your person feel nervous about it, feel like it's not going to work out. But in any case, it is a really chaotic situation, you know, and it's definitely a situation that's all about nihilism, killing something, like getting rid of things that are actually already dead because the panther comes in to also like uh, destroy and totally break away from things that no longer serve you. So there, there is an aspect of destruction here, destruction of things in the past or things that you are tied to from your past and that destruction of that allows you to go forward. And that's why once the dust settles, what the panther creates is always room for incredible growth, but the chaos that it brings can be really sort of a lot. The devil is coming in for your person and the queen of pentacles is coming in again. So there you go. Interesting. They have devil energy really sort of pulling at them. You have the Ten of Wands, releasing of burdens, and you have the Three of Wands. Interesting. Patience. So you're exercising a lot of patience with them. And the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is there. Yes, this is a new love. I think you're in a new love with them in as much as, yes, they are probably dealing with letting go of the past, letting go of a past relationship. Um, Devil and Queen of Pentacles has come in. This clearly shows you the kind of power struggle that they're, not power struggle, but what they're seeing in their lives. They're clearly cutting away from the devil energy in their life, which is really the, the energy that is uh, can be associated with codependency and bad relationships and stuff. And this is what they're facing this week with this justice event. And I do think that this is uh, something to do with some kind of separation from someone. Either it's an ex-lover or it even could be family or people in some way that they've had to separate themselves from. Because whoever this other person or group of people or whatever they are, they represent a source of negative energy for your person. And this is the reason why they're feeling so nervous about this. They really want to get this over and done with. And it just feels like a really daunting task with the spirit of the panther there. 
But the spirit of the horse is there for them also. And it's like that endurance and that strength is there for them. They see you as the light of their lives and they see you as that queen of pentacles. They want to give you everything that you deserve with that 10 of cups there, Libra. And you, of course, are resonating with 10 of wands and three of wands here. So the Ten of Wands and the Three of Wands really is talking about, you know, Ten of Wands, you can see, you know, letting go of that, you know, that jungle of wands that has really kept you alienated, burdened, kept you from your best self. It's an unburdening. And I'm not saying that you've been keeping yourself from your best self because you are the Queen of Pentacles. Here you've come out twice now, Libra. Right. And so here, you know, obviously you are very clearly someone who's successful and achieved a lot. But I think you've also been carrying quite a burden around with you. And it could be a part of this whole situation. It could be that whatever your person was tied to, it created a sense of burden for you. So them going through this and finally, uh, I want to say, handling it, finally getting balance here and dealing with it with this event of justice coming in is really allowing you to unburden yourself as well. Three of Wands is here, and Three of Wands is, you know, three is the number for virtue. And Three of Wands is the card for patience. And here you are really sort of being very, very patient, very calm. You know, you can see the figure there. She's kind of dancing the dance of sort of intention, like ex in the moment ecstasy. So she's being very much in the moment, enjoying herself in the moment. I'm not saying that you're enjoying what your person is going through, but I do think you're getting a sense of calm. You have a sense of patience to see this all un 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 um sort of unfurl or, you know, uh, develop, right? Um, and a lot of this is also down to the fact that you are busy. You have a life. You are busy doing something here with this Queen of Pentacles. This independent energy that you get from that horse coming in is very strong for you, Libra. It's one of the things that allows you to sort of keep going in a very independent way, uh, manifesting your own goals. And this is a source of inspiration, again, to your person. They see how strong and independent you are with that sun energy. And this is all the reason why they love you the mo love you more. You know, this is Ace of Cups here, which really indicates a sense of love coming in for you uh, with this person. This is a nice source of love. And it is a new love, I think, with this Ace of Cups. Again, like I said, you may have only been with them for, you know, several months or maybe a year or so while they're dealing with this separation issue. And hermit energy is here because I think to a certain degree there is a sense of hermited energy here from you. It could be that to a, you know you two may have been hermited away and coming out to deal with this, or it could just be that you do have a little touch of hermit energy for you here. Because the Queen of Pentacles does tend to sort of alienate herself because she just focuses in on her career. And so she's working, 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 and then maybe sleeping and eating a little bit, but working, working. And that's a sense, that's uh, that's a form of hermeticism, right? Because you really don't interact with anybody else. And I think there that could also be talking to some of you. Some of you out there in your energies, Libra, in terms of how focused you are in your career, that it almost makes you sort of pull away from others um, and kind of be alienated a little bit to a certain degree. In any case, um, the Hermit also talks about really um, being on a path of self-realization. And apart from anything, um, some of you may be resonating with that aspect of them in a sense that right now, this is a real period of realizing a couple of, of goals. Your person is realizing a goal of breaking away from certain energies and moving forward with you. And you're also realizing a goal that's very important to you by continuing to put your heart into your work and not slowing down in that area. So there's a lot of self-realization happening this week as well. I am going to leave it at that. This is your reading, my lovely Libras. I hope you enjoyed it. It's really, really beautiful outlook. Um, because in the end, everything I do, I do believe that everything is going to work out quite nicely. The person is very much in love with you. They're handling their situation. And you are being your authentic, free, and individual self. And it's what the, it's the one thing that your person loves the most about you. 
All right. Don't forget to let me know if you're interested in the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Deck and Guidebook. All you have to do is be subscribed. And while you're subscribing, please like and share the video also. Once you're subscribed, all you have to do is leave me a comment and let me know that you're interested. And then on March 31st, don't forget to tune in and check out and see if you are the winner. But for right now, my lovely Libras, I'm just going to say have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week for your weekly love outlook. Bye-bye now.